and then purple line is 2005, so that's the, the one in the middle. And then the light blue is for 2001. And so you can see first that the curve is exponential, which is always very good, which means that the first few nodes really have the big impact. So if you look at the first, say, 20 filters, if I have first 20 filters, spoofing really goes down. And then with 50 filters, spoofing goes down to about 5%, which means 95 combinations are not, 95% of combinations are not possible anymore. You can also see that uh, this trend changes over time. So in 2001, I had really good performance even with 20 filters, I could reach 5% of uh, spoofability. And then in year 2005, I needed 50 filters for that. And so that's because internet grows. So I'm picking top players on the internet. As internet grows, top players become more numerous. Mm -hmm. Sockets, so you can't spoof as much, and I think it's much easier to just um, generate same packets or whatever without spoofing. It is uh, definitely easier to to deal do without spoofing, and a lot of DDoS attacks don't use spoofing. But the thing is that um, some of them do, and then also uh, when um, a lot of um, network telescope projects, they are tracking spoofing. So my guess is they would have a better idea than I do how, how prevalent is spoofing on the internet. Uh, what I'm uh, trying to address is as long as it's possible to do spoofing at the large scale, we're not safe. Even though if people are not doing it today, it's very easy to do it. So you know, it, uh, if we don't take it out as a threat, it's still going to be there. It's still going to plague our defense system, so we won't be able to rely on our profiles and, and to do defense. Okay, um, this shows the zombie index. Again, zombie index is something that tells you if you picked a random zombie and you picked a random victim, how much traffic would reach this victim. And uh, the, this is the average case in solid lines, and the dotted lines show the maximum case, the worst case uh, for this measure. And you see that the worst case really doesn't look very good. So uh, we're, still, we're still around 80%. But the average case looks good, and so we go down to, to uh, 5%. This shows that for some, for some zombies and for some victims, spoofing still will be possible. But for majority of, of um, zombie victim combinations on the internet, we will cut down the spoofing. And then victim index looks similar. So victim index tells me, for the average victim, how much spoof traffic should this victim receive on the average and at the maximum. And so you see that the max, at the maximum with 50 filters, average victim should have its spoof traffic cut down in half. So if someone is doing an attack, then the worst case is that 50% of traffic would reach me as the victim. But the average case is that about 5% would reach me. OK, so now averages don't really tell the whole story. And um, I'm hoping I'm going to have time to show you all the graphs that I want to show you. Uh, so um, averages don't tell the whole story because, let's say, a, 10% zombie index, this doesn't tell me if this means that everyone can only spoof 10% or if it means that 80% of nodes can spoof 0.1%, but then 20% of nodes can spoof 50% of addresses, which would mean that they have 20% of nodes that are really good choice for zombies, and then the rest is not a good choice. Um, and we would want to look at, the, at, at this issue of how balanced are those measures over all the victims and all the, all, all the possible addresses you could spoof? Whether if I have 50 filters, whether I'm helping everyone equally, or whether there is a chosen few that I'm helping and then the rest are, that the rest are just unlucky. And so ideally, we would want to have defense that is fair towards, to, to everyone. So we'll now look at those measures. I'm going to show you a measure for each IP address. 
And then if this address is a victim, then I'm going to divide zombies into categories based on how much they can spoof to this victim. And if it is a spoofed source, if this is source that, whose address is misused in reflector attacks, then I'm going to show you for every zombie how much, how many destinations can be reached if this address is spoofed. And if you think of reflector attack, it is only successful if I can spoof a given address to a lot of destinations because a lot of destinations will then reply to the victim. So if I cut down on spoofing and my, my packets cannot reach a lot of destinations, then I'm not going to be successful with this reflector attack. Okay, so I know that there is a, a lot of information here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain one graph, but then I'm also going to ask you to look at the color only. I'm showing you graphs for 1, 5, 20, and 50 filters. And so let me zoom in on one filter. And this is the victim measure. So on the x-axis, you see all the victims in the internet. So every, every point on this line is one victim. And I just sorted them so that I get a nice graph. I don't get graph all over the place. The color means level of spoofing. So the red color means in this area, zombies can spoof more than 10% of the internet, which I would call almost unlimited spoofing. You can spoof almost everything you choose. Um, in the light blue area, you can only spoof between 1% and 10% of the whole internet. In the violet-blue area, you can only spoof between 0.1% and 1%. And the dark blue is the best, because in the dark blue area, that's the best protection. Zombies there can only spoof less than 0.1% of the internet. And so what I would like, the y-axis shows the percentage of zombies that fall into these areas. And what we would like to see is first uh, less red on the graph. So ideally, we would like to see the gra graph being dark blue. But if it cannot be dark blue, then at least blue so that so the thread goes away. Um, and then the second thing we would like to see is graph being level. So for all the, again, x-axis are all the victims. We would like every victim to receive the same protection. OK, so let's look at the yellow line. And this is just one victim I have picked out. And this victim is ranked about 20 percentile in this, in this case. And I did the ranking based on the level of red. So uh, victims on the left are victims with best protection. And the victims on the right are victims for which we are not really doing much. So this one is, is somewhere close to the ones where we are doing a lot of work for. Um, and for this victim, if you look at the y-axis, there are about 5% of zombies whose spoofing is severely reduced. And then there are about 10% of zombies that can only spoof 1% or less of the whole internet. There are about 30% of them they can spoof 10% uh, or less, and then the rest 70% of zombies, they can spoof anything. So this means that if this address was chosen as a victim, and I chose my zombies randomly on the internet, I would have a good chance of actually creating an attack on this victim. I'm not doing very good work protecting this victim. You can also see that here on the left, on the far left, there are a chosen few that are really having good protection. And for those chosen few, you see that, that they have almost all blue, um, which means that they, you know, they, they are really well protected. If they are victims, they will only receive 10% or less of the spoof traffic going towards them. And so we would like these measures to level out, and we would like the red to go away. And so now, hopefully, um, you can 